the idea raised uh, actually soon after the first one for fives have been delivered we have seen that the requirements the regulations everything was evolving was was more stringent and uh, for that we were clearly seeing that on the one for five we are lacking performance ultimately realized in 2008 where this project started and from there onwards we developed this model t2 which is finally now certified the main adventures the main focus has been on performance and safety safety in terms of the uh, trademark element which you see in t with the fenestron at, at the rear end which was uh, changed from a conventional tail rotor to this fenestron system it is modernized very much with respect to the avionics system the autopilot system where we integrated the force axis in, in, into this uh, helicopter. The other thing, of course, is the re-engineering which we did. We installed this very powerful Ariel 2 engines from Turbomeca and they offer, a, they offer basically a much higher performance for all engine operation in the order of plus 20-25% and for single engine operation up to 45-50% more performance for that kind of, uh, of, of missions. The Helionics philosophy was that um, the pilot should be able to fly the, uh, the whole mission on one screen, um, such as like power indication, rotor speed, artificial horizon, airspeed, height, radar height, navigation data, and also um, a control over the vehicle. Um, in addition, you have two further screens, which are then be used for the uh, en route operation. The middle screen can be manipulated to display, let's say, the uh, digital map, or can be manipulated and changed uh, in order to display the uh, navigation data, waypoints, etc. In addition, you can also call up uh, uh, camera images for video camera. If you do have a tail uh, camera installed, you can have a look at that. When you do cargo hoist operations, for example, you can recall checklists if required. So uh, all these data can be put on that screen. Same for that one. Whereas these two screens are dedicated screens for the pilot, this one is dedicated for the hem crew member uh, or the co-pilot. Whereas in the past, the pilot had to monitor his vehicle data all the time, here the system does it for the pilot, which is a significant reduction in workload. That, in combination with a four-axis autopilot, which can be quickly engaged with just one click on the side click, and um, it engages automatically altitude mode, heading mode, and indicated airspeed mode, you can back off, take your feet out, hand off control, and then you fly the aircraft just by uh, rotating little uh, switches on the autopilot control panel or on the, uh, on the cyclic or collective uh, uh, head. So, that said, the, uh, the workload is uh, significantly reduced compared to previous uh, aircraft and, um, and in addition with the power which we have, uh, OEI and all engine power, it's, uh, it's, it's a real significant reduction in workload. It's, it's a, has a, a completely new avi avionic system. It has a four-axis autopilot. It is night vision uh, capable, it has a night vision capability. Uh, it has a new strong engines from Chobomeka. You have a perfect one engine performance and it's an easy to handle helicopter and uh, our pilots are really feel themselves very, very comfortable and already at home on this model. We're going to buy uh, five helicopters till the end of 2015, beginning 2016. We have a frame contract, about 20 helicopters, but the change in the fleet will at least, at least uh, 10 to 15 years. So it's a long-term project. We have a production line ongoing in the United States for the United States Army. And they do, as it looks, continue their request for 145s. So we may continue the 145 for the production line in the US, but we intend to phase out the commercial easy 145 around end to 2015. So this will become the production standard by 2015 and onwards.